Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I'm going to be doing another review. Um, this is going to be an episode review for the second episode of Season 3 of Arrow. Um, so yeah, I reviewed the first episode, The Calm, um, last week. So, you know, annotation here somewhere for those who want to check it out. This is going to be for the second episode, which is called Sarah. Um, again, Season 3, Episode 2, Arrow. Um, so yeah, but before I begin, a uh, 10 second spoiler, war spoiler warning, as usual, uh, for those who have yet to actually watch the episode and haven't already, stop the video, go check it out, and then come back here and watch the rest of this review. Um, so yeah, so 10 second, 10 second spoiler warning, as usual, starting now. Okay, so yeah, 10 seconds are up. So for those who have yet to actually watch the video and haven't already, I mean, watch the episode and haven't already, please don't comment down below or be messaging me. Um, be messaging me that I never gave you a fair warning because as usual, usual, I did. And I swear, I'm hearing like police sirens right outside my house. I know the washing machine is like on right now, but I swear I'm hearing police sirens right, up, right, right outside my house. I hope everything's uh, all right. Hopefully, I don't get hurt. Whatever. Yeah, it stopped. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of got off track. Um, but I swear I heard police sirens. If the police sirens kind of, if you guys heard the police sirens on from the video, tell me down below. Um, that'd be pretty cool, kind of. So yeah, but actually, not to the actual review. Sorry for being off topic. Not for the actual re review. So, in the previous episode, um, you had. Basically, in the previous episode, it ended with Black Canary dying. Um, they killed her. Um, so in this episode, it's basically them mourning and trying to figure out who um, possibly could have killed Black Canary. I actually did a discussion topic um, a couple hours right before the show um, starting started. For some reason, yesterday was the time I actually actually had time to actually do this discussion topic. Uh, and basically, in that video. I said there's eight possible people who could have killed her. Well, between eight and ten, but some of them, like basically, I said here's my list: um, Ra's al Ghul slash League of Assassins. Number two, Nysa al Ghul. Number three, Deathstroke slash Deadshot. Um, number four, Malcolm Merlin. Number five, Oliver Queen's sister, which is called Thea Queen, um, or Thea Queen. I didn't know at the time, but now I re now I know. Uh, number s number six, I thought Arsenal. For number seven, I thought it was Elena Bartolini. And number eight, I thought it was Green Arrow. And I think I should have done number nine for some ra for, for like random people, you know, like character not introduced or just unknown, um, or something like that. But yeah, that that's basically my how I thought about it. Because basically in this episode, they basically mourned the her death, Black Canary's death. And that's, you know, I basically did this, the discussion topic, who could have killed her, blah, 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 blah. So it's found out there's this guy who's an assassin. Um, I don't think he's been in, I, from what I've read, he, he this, the, this episode was his first episode. Um, his name was LaCroix. LaCroix? Um, it's a French name. Um, they kind of comment on that in the show that he has an X at the end of his last name. So, you know, they're like, I don't know, some French dude. Um, which is pretty funny. Um, so yeah, he's African American, French, well, African French or French African, whatever. Um, so yeah, um, basically he he's he he was committing murders again, like a hitman, kind of like Deathstroke, kind of like Deadshot. Um, they, and you know they, we were kind of wondering, you know, did he possibly kill kill Black Canary? I mean, he uses arrows as well. Um, which is pretty interesting. So I'm like, you know, after I found out, I'm like, yeah, this is the guy who likely killed Black Canary, but apparently it's not the same guy, which I was actually happy for, because I, I felt like it would have been too short for them to have closed this story arc. I think they should have, they should drag this story arc out for at least a few more episodes up until maybe episode, between episode four and eight, I think would be right around where they should end it. Um, because I, I think right now it's too early to actually end this story arc, or at least this phase of the story arc. Um, so yeah. Um, you have some pretty cool scenes, pretty cool action scenes. Um, there's this one scene that, at, towards the end of the episode, we have, um, 
Lorelli, that's her name, Lorel or Lorelli, um, or L'Oreal, right? And she's about to shoot LaCroix, um, and she starts shooting at him, but the bullets don't come out. Apparently, um, Oliver Quinn, you know, um, you know, knew that she, if she has a gun and she sees a guy in front of her, she's gonna try to kill her, and kill him or her, whatever, in this case, him. So he took the bullets out, and it was just funny, you know, her trying to shoot the guy, no bullets. But it brings up an interesting plot development that she would kill in order to bring, bring revenge. And some people have theorized that she may become Black Canary in the future, which is a pretty interesting topic. Um, which I could see it, but I think that also has to do a bit with some stuff um, people may have seen in Season 2, which, again, I'm not completely caught up on Season 2. Um, so, yeah. I mean, overall, it was a pretty interesting episode. Um, you know, the fact, you know, this this is probably one of the saddest episodes throughout this whole series so far, especially with the death of Black Canary. Because Black Canary, she was a pretty, she was um a very liked character within this um, TV series. So, yeah. Um, there's also this one shot. It includes L'Oreal as well. And she's in this hospital, and she's talking to this one guy who almost got murdered. Um, who was, you know, by, again, by LaCroix. And he was, apparently, he was hired to kill this guy as well, and he's almost murdered, and he's taken to the hospital, and L'Oreal is talking to the guy as to why did LaCroix, or at, least, or at the time they didn't know his name, but why did the hitman want to kill him, and they're basically discussing, they're talking about this, like, gas, like, gas plant, or, like, oil plantation, or oil, oil spill, or something like that, um, you know, on the coast of somewhere, and it's funny, because, like, about five seconds later, there's an, an arrow comes bolting through the window and it gets the guy right in, square in the chest. I'm like, holy fucking shit. They just killed. Uh, that was just funny and scary at the same time. Um, so, yeah. I mean, that, that was pretty cool, actually. A pretty cool shot. I mean, the fact. And to be honest, the fact that the arrow went through the window, that was actually pretty cool. I mean, I know special effects and, you know, it's fake. But if that were to happen in real life, that'd be pretty cool, I have to admit. Um, so, yeah, that was a pretty cool scene as well. Um, you have some pretty interesting character de development again from L'Oreal. You know her, you know pro her mental stability kind of, I guess down regressing a bit by a bit due to the fact of her sister's death. But again, you know when you want revenge, you do crazy stuff. So yeah. Also, you have Oliver Quinn, and he really can't mourn at the moment because you know he has to stay strong, considering he's he is the leader of this whole thing. And the you know and the few times he tries to mourn he's calling his sister, and her the sister doesn't pick up, um, and it turns out that at the end of the episode you see um, Flea Quinn Queen, um, with Malcolm Merlin. so that was that was a pretty interesting plot twist, um, so yeah, um, and then at the end of the episode you have, you have everybody mourning they you know they bury her, um. Felicity, she's apparently Jewish, so she does this Jewish tradition where they throw dirt on the court, the grave, the coffin, and you know she's like, I know she's not Jewish, but it just you know feels right. And then it's kind of cool, I guess, kind of a sweet moment, like a bittersweet moment, right? because then Oliver Quinn does the same thing, uh, you know, again not Jewish, but it feels right, and I guess it's his form of mourning. Um, and eventually they do bury the coffin and stuff. So, you know, overall, it was a pretty good episode. Pretty, I guess one of the more sentimental episodes of this series um, thus far. I think we, we're still going to be looking at other people. I think in future episodes, we're still going to see um, the characters mourning to some degree. And I, th and I, and I don't think that... And I think this is something that's just going to go throughout the whole show to some extent. I think for the most part, it's going to stick within Season 3, or at least the first part of Season 3. But I do think that um, the, the fact that Black Canary died will always have... Like secondary effects, mostly you know, mourning, and you know what if you know could this have happened if she was here and blah 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 blah. So yeah, overall pretty good episode. Um, I think it was a pretty good send off. Um, for, for the character, um, Black Canary, she was, you know, I actually did like her. Um, haven't seen much of her in the show, but regardless, I still liked her. So you know, and she was a pretty cool character. And I, from what I've read also in the comics, she's pretty cool. She's one of the more badass female characters there is. And kind of sucks that they killed her off, killed her off. But then again, I'm pretty sure she's had at least. I'm pretty sure she's been throughout all of season two and most of season one. Um. So yeah, I mean overall, 
proper goodbye to the character. So yeah, rip Black Canary, Sarah Lanis. Yeah. Um. So yeah, sad to see her go, but eh, what can you do at this point? Um. So yeah, that's um. So yeah, that that's that. And the rate on a scale of one to ten. One being the worst, ten being the best, and six being decent. I give this an eight point five out of ten. I think it's a proper send off to the character, and overall, it just shows you know. I mean, you know, despite the fact that this show is all action, it it is dark and gritty action. It does show that it could, that could have its sentimental moments when it needs to, such as now. So yeah, it's a proper send off, and there's way too much light here. Uh, yeah, let me put that there for now. Um, so, yeah, proper send-off to the character, and that's basically it for now, 8.5 out of 10 is what I would give this episode as a whole, and that's basically it for now, um, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, I do movie reviews, TV show re reviews, and comic book reviews, for TV shows, I review Gotham, Scorpion, Flash, Arrow, Grace Point, Z Nation, Walking Dead, and once it comes out, Constantine. And I may start doing reviews for How to Get Away with Murder um, this weekend. I wanna, I, I've heard that was a good show. My friends have told me that's a good show, so I may, you know, watch the first episode, review it, and see what happens, what goes on from there. Um, so yeah. Uh, besides that, you know, comment down below on your thoughts on this episode, and what were your thoughts on Black Canary? Did you like her as a character? If not, why not? And if so, what are your thoughts? Comment all that down below. Let me know. Um, besides that, like this video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace. Or whatever you guys prefer. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mart signing off.